In order to identify the plier that is given in the image, we need to have a close look at the characteristic features of the beaks of the plier. So here we see that both the beaks of this pliers are different. One beak has these cylindrical serrations which are present. Now whenever such cylindrical serrations are present, it is a loop forming plier. Okay, so these cylindrical serrations actually help in creating loops. And the other side is actually a flat beak which has these tooth shaped serrations present on its flat surface. So this is a tweeds loop forming plier because these are characteristic features of the tweeds loop forming plier. Now this plier is used to create bull and helical loops of, on the wires of different diameters. Okay, so this cylindrical uh, beak is used to create uh, loops. Okay, and this flat beak which actually has a slight concave surface. So if you see here, this is a, a slight concave surface on the flat uh, beak. That these tooth shape uh, which can be appreciated here, these tooth shape serrations which are present on the flat beak, they are actually used to prevent wire slippage and hold the wire at 90 degrees so that the loop can be formed easily. Now how do we differentiate it from the other options which are given? So this is how the other pliers look like. So in a Nance loop forming plier, both the beaks are the same. So both of them are have the same uh, cylindrical serrations present on it and the inner surface is flat. Okay, this is our tweeds loop forming plier. Now in a universal plier or a Young's plier that also has the cylindrical serrations as you can see here. However, this the flat surface here, it doesn't have these tooth shaped uh, serrations. It has these, uh, th these holes which are present, right? So this is where the wire is held. So that is held at uh, regular intervals in the wire. There is no tooth shaped uh, serrations which are seen. Okay, and the flat surface is not concave like in this tweeds loop forming plier. This was concave. So this is not concave. This is a flat shape. Okay, so this is a flat beak. And also tweeds loop forming pliers only the tip of the pliers are used for loop forming, right? This is all flat. Whereas in a Young's plier, it extends up until here. So up until the body of the plier, you can hold the wire. Okay, so that is the difference between a Young's plier and a tweeds loop forming plier. And the lastly is the tweeds ribbon arch plier. Now because no loops need to be made here, this plier is only used for bringing about bends in the arch wire in the ribbon arch that is in the Beggs appliance or in a edgewise appliance. So it is a flat beak uh, plier. Both the beaks are flat. They do not have any vertical serrations nor do these uh, beaks inside have any serrations on them. So this is how you differentiate between the different pliers.